It was August 19th, 2020, a hot August day, when Triangle 5 to 0 decided to do something that would change the history forever. Well, at least for him. Well, it seems to be a bit underwhelming, but this is the start of something grand. Around the same time, he created a studio called the Super Mario Z Dev Team, which this was the team that had all the people that worked on it. Like, look at there's so many people that worked on this project. This like, shows all the versions here. So we did go through quite a lot of different versions and ideas that existed, and then uh, we finally reached the final game. Pretty underwhelming, isn't it? Two months, and this is all I can muster up. So, in this game you can be Mario or Luigi. I'll be Mario just to show you guys an example. So, I'm using the music just so you guys can hear my voice, but anyway. So, the game mechanics you can like run, jump, dive. That's just a few of the things you can do. That's pretty much all of them. You can also wall jump. Yeah. You can just jump on the Goombas. And apparently the HUD is not very good because, like, if you see, it goes behind the behind the levels. So there's not a lot of very good qualities. Although the art is good, well, at least some places it's good. It's very inconsistent. Let's look at like see between the level and Mario or the clouds. Although clouds can be simple, and then we have like the background is like a real picture. Yeah, take damage and collect like, star that yeah, you can crouch also. So, not a lot you can do with Mario. Which Mario, he goes at like a moderate speed. He's a bit fast though, but you know, let's stop the game. Let's play with Luigi. Yeah, there's also the glitch at the beginning where uh, the player space to play. And let's see Luigi, and holy, he is quite the speedster. Like, look at him, look at him. He's very fast. See, look at him. he can pop across the whole thing. You're playing with Luigi, you're quite You're quite good. You will be, but you might be a little too fast though. You can do all the same things. Yeah, his dive is on beat. Oh, and yep. As I said, glitches. Glitches are very popular with this game. So, this game has quite a few levels. So, the first level here we have the grasslands. None of the levels have official names, by the way, and I'm not just going to make up something on the spot. So, each level has three stars, and yeah. So, the grasslands, it has, it has alright level design, as you can see, like, with the, the convenience of the star, as you gotta do that to get there. And, now we are at the second level, look at all these moais in the desert, and apparently, uh, I never changed the background, because I do not know, I can't I can't really tell you that, but that doesn't matter. This is a pretty short level, it does use prana plants, it's pretty linear too. You just have to go in a straight line. If you use if you use Luigi, you can easily cheese this level. Now here's level three the airship. This one is a little more interesting. As there's a lot of room enemies, but you should be able to avoid them just fine. You have to jump on them to the star. Yeah, just avoid one right there. And look at these clouds, look so Silly. Yeah, just a big climb under there, so kind of an underwhelming level again. None of these levels are too good, but this is the first game in the series, so not a whole lot of expectations. And now here's the cave level, and there's these like weird piranha plants. Yeah, that's so that's, that's a pretty short level. Uh, that was very quick to complete. And now we are at the final level, which is Bowser's Castle, which is just a bunch of black squares with a gray background and some Goombas. If you collect all two of the stars in this level, you actually get um, a special credits for 100%. And here's the final boss, which is Bowser, and he just stands on a couple of Goombas and uh, you just have to stomp his head until he dies. So yeah, uh, that is a pretty basic ending.
Okay, so this is about the legacy this game is left off. And when I say I mean like, how has this game affected the history of like other Mario games, like other Triangle Five with the Zero games? So uh, here, the notes, credits, here. So like, these are the comments of what people think about it. Yeah. Uh, sorry if I'm not censoring anyone, which uh, I don't need to, but does that matter too much? So that's 479 loves, 142 favorites, 47 units, and just over 13,000 views. So, uh, what is left off? It was kind of the start of the Mario game on Scratch boom, as after this game has released, um, some other Scratch games that were Mario related, they started coming out. So, I think that that's a pretty good thing that this game has done. And this is going to be the end of the Super Mario Z Part 1. So, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in the next part of this documentary.